So in this video, we'll be investigating editing. Uh, editing is a post-production process in which the raw footage and audio is arranged and combined into the final movie. Editing is what distinguishes film from other art forms such as theater and photography. It's often called the invisible art because shots should combine so seamlessly that the audience isn't even aware that cuts are occurring. Um, so there's lots of different types of edits. First up we have the standard edit, which is when shots are paired together to create continuous transitions in setting and time, such as two characters talking to one another or a character moving through a scene. Uh, then we have a dissolve or a fade. This usually marks a change in time between two shots, the end of one scene and the beginning of another. Um, it can also be an establishing shot of a setting before we cut or fade to the character who is occupying that setting. We have cross-cutting. Cross-cutting establishes action occurring in two different settings, but at the same time. We have the cutaway. This is when the editor overlays extraneous footage into a scene, visually interrupting the narrative. And then we start to get more complicated forms of editing, such as the flashback. This is when the editor interjects footage into a scene which takes the narrative back in time from the current point in the story. There's also the montage. This is when the narrative is condensed into a series of shots juxtaposed against one another. Uh, one of the more famous examples of this is uh, the training sequences in the Rocky films. W one of the phenomena that uh, early Russian editors identified was the Kuleshov effect and this is the fact that viewers often derive more meaning from the interaction of two sequential shots than they do from a single shot in isolation. And the example that demonstrates the Kuleshov effect was a shot of a man looking at the camera. And this was juxtaposed against various other images, such as a bowl of soup, a bed, and a child. And the Russian editors noticed that the audience's reaction to this man's performance changed depending on what he, that face was juxtaposed against. When they saw it juxtaposed with a bed, they said he, he was acting sleepy. When it was juxtaposed with a bowl of soup, they said, oh, he's acting hungry. The man's face wasn't chaining between shots, but the meaning that the audience derived from that juxtaposition of shots was what mattered. Editing is not just about mechanically putting shots together like a jigsaw. Editors must select from hundreds of hours of footage and work creatively with the layers of image, story, dialogue, music, and pacing to craft the film into a cohesive whole. Editing has a big effect on the rhythm of a film. For example, the editor may use long shots to slow down the pace of the film or short shots to speed it up. They can also arrange shots to create a continuous effect or a jarring effect. These decisions can affect the tone of the film and evoke the mindset of the characters. Originally, editing was thought of as technical work rather than creative work, and because it was undervalued, it was one of the few positions where women were able to occupy in early film production. Now that we've defined editing, we'll be watching a short scene from the film Casablanca. Casablanca is an American romantic drama first released in 1942. In this scene, Rick Blaine is reminiscing about his failed relationship with Isla Lund. When watching the scene, I want you to consider the use and different types of edits. What might these elements signify about the story, the characters, or the mood of the film? A link to the clip can be found in the video description. After you've watched it, please return to this video. So now that you've watched the scene, what did you think about the editing? The scene depicts the flashback and the montage. The scene opens with the camera zooming in on Rick, implying introspection before it sort of dissolves, implying a change in time. The montage includes a lot of short shots which blend together and to create a sort of dreamlike atmosphere, um, which describes the very dreamlike relationship that Rick and Isla shared in Paris. The faded contrasts imply a sort of fading memory shrouded in nostalgia. We see the backgrounds behind the characters changing while the characters themselves don't, implying they're in the moment and only focused on one another while the world around them changes. Uh, that montage unfortunately is interrupted by the invasion of France by the Nazis. The music contrasts between the soothing music 
of the love affair and then the bombastic trumpets of war. Their relationship has a symbolic function in the narrative that can apply to Europe living blissfully before the outbreak of war threw everyone's life into turmoil and doubt. After that point, the editing becomes less dreamlike and more chaotic, more grounded in reality and away from the fantasy of romance. Let me know what you thought of the editing in this scene from Casablanca. So that concludes Cinema 101. We've looked at a range of different film elements across this series of videos, but ultimately the best way to learn about movies is just to watch them. Look at the way that the filmmaker constructs the world of the film, the way he or she draws our attention and influences our mood, and the way small details combine into overarching ideas and themes. Thank you for watching, and uh, please subscribe for more content about film.